we talk about the physical features of my rosin press. It is about 11 inches tall and weighs 13 pounds. The frame itself that's inside of here is a hot rolled steel and then the plates are stainless steel. These three layers on both sides are stainless steel. This allows the this surface, the contacts of material, to be evenly heated so there's no hot spots, no cold spots, and the temperature on the screen is actually the temperature at the surface level. Uh, the press is designed to lock, so we have a double joint right now for open, and the double joint locks, creates a solid line, a vertical line, and that vertical line applies a lot of pressure. So right now, with no material in there, the pressure between the plates is roughly 1,400 PSI. So it takes about 12,000 pounds down one, or roughly six tons of pressure to achieve that. The press has a carrying handle, easy to move around. You can put your, press your thumb, press your thumb, very convenient. It has cooling vents on both sides. This arch is actually for your knee so while you're walking you won't clip your knee similar to what you find in the grocery store the hand carts on the back we have a six foot power cord it spools up and it also has a clip easy storage and transportation you can see that it's electrically grounded so that is connected to both the frame and the plates and then you have storage of your tool this tool is used to adjust the pressure, or adjust the plate heights on, on the plates. Also has a bottle opener and a place for a keychain. So that lives right back here. It's meant to work off of physics, so we have a lot of features to help you under high pressure. So what you have is six silicone feet. This is going to limit any sliding. The frame is insulated with air. So what this means is that your plates are running at 200 plus degrees or in some cases enough to boil water and then your frame is going to be in the high hundreds but even though it's been like that you can put your hands on the, on the casing and not burn yourself. And that comes into play when the unit is locked, in order to unlock it, you don't need to clamp it down to a table. You just use your left hand and simply just pull away. 